Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session we have seen uh, one graph traversal technique that is a depth first search. In today's session we will go with the another graph traversal technique that is breadth first search. So which is called a BFS. So in order to implement this BFS, we use the Q data structure, which is a first in, first out, Q. So let us take the same example and then uh, the same procedure is followed. So here also we have to visit all the nodes uh, only once. So we can assume the start from any node and then we have to start traveling and we have to visit all the nodes only once. The same thing we will take that A, B, so the same example I am taking D, E, F, G, right. So first travel from A, so mark it as 1, so then visit the adjacent nodes, all the adjacent nodes, so first one and there is one more adjacent node one right then coming to the next level visit the adjacent node of B and then visit the adjacent node of E backtrack right because there are no adjacent nodes here so backtrack to A, again backtrack, uh, come to C, so visit F and backtrack to C, visit G, backtrack to C, backtrack to A. So that all the adjacent nodes have been visited. So here we have to visit the nodes in level wise. So first complete the level, high, top level, level 0 and then level 1, level 2, level 3. So top level we have to complete all the visit, visiting all the nodes then go with the second level go with the third level. Now we will go with the implementation. So here after visiting all these things we will get the same order A, B, C. So A level 0, level 1, level 2. So level 0 visit the node, level 1 visit all the nodes B, C, level 2 visit all the nodes. D, E, F and G. So we have to visit all the nodes level by level. So that's why we call it as a breadth first search. Okay. So in the previous session we have seen a depth first search. We have to go in a depth. Right. Now we will see how we will get this one with the implementation of Q. So step 1. So this is a Q and this is a BFS, Q and BFS. So first, so let us assume this one is a start node, okay. The same thing, start node is A. So A, right, insert A into the Q. So this is a Q, okay, step 2. Remove the element from the queue and place in DFS, BFS. So as it is a queue, where we have to remove the element, so both the insertion and deletion will be uh, uh, applied on same end. Okay. So, sorry. So de deletion will be from front end, insertion will be from back end, rear end. Okay. So A, A is removed and placed in BFS. Now, insert all the adjacent nodes of A in Q. What are the adjacent nodes in A? B, C. B and C. So this is a BFS. And this is a Q. 
So in the step 3, and remove the element from the queue. So here we have to remove the element from the front end. We have to insert the element at the rear end. Okay. So we have to remove the element. So the C will be in the top and place here A, B. Now what we have to do? We have to insert all the edges and nodes of B into the queue. What are the edges and nodes of B? D and E. So D, E. So I have the insertion will take place at the rear end. So this is a friend. At the rear I have inserted D and next at the rear I have inserted the E. So at the rear end I am inserting the nodes, edges and nodes of B because we are removing B here. Next. In the step 4, remove the element from the queue, remove the element from the queue, so C is removed because the element is deleted from the front end. So D, E, A, B, C. Now what is the element we have removed? C. Now place the adjacent nodes of C into the queue. Place or insert the adjacent nodes of C into the queue because we are re removing C from the queue. So what are the adjacent nodes of C? F and G. So insert them into the queue. F and G. So apply the same procedure. Step 5. Right. So already A, B, C are there. Now remove the element. So delete, deletion will be done from the front end. So D is deleted and placed here. Now there are only three elements. E, F and G. And we have removed D. So we have to add the adjacent nodes of D into the queue. So here D is an if node. So here D doesn't have any adjacent nodes. So just ignore. Next follow the same procedure. Step 6. So A, B, C, D and remove the element. So element is removed from the front end. So E will be removed and we have to insert all the adjacent nodes of E into the queue. So what are the adjacent nodes of E? There are no adjacent nodes. Ignore. So there are only two elements in the queue. Step 7. Remove the element from the queue and place it in the BFS. So what is the element? F is removed here and placed in BFS. And we have to insert all the adjacent nodes of F into the queue. So there are no adjacent nodes for F. So remove, just remove. Next, step 8. Step 8. So A, B, C, D, E, F. So G is removed. So G is placed here. And we have to insert all the adjacent nodes of G into the queue. So there are no adjacent nodes for G. So here Q is empty. So this is the Q and this is the BFS. So the same thing we got here. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So this is how we can implement the BFS breadth for search using Q. So hope you understood. So here we are visiting all the nodes level by level. So we have to visit all the nodes in level 0. Then only we have to go with the level 1. Then only we have to go to the level 2 right so here a is in level 0 so we have visited a in level 0 in the level 2 uh, sorry level 1 there are two nodes which are adjacent to a so a b c so we have visited b and c and then we will go with the level 2 because only two nodes are there in level 1 in the level 2 there are four nodes and we have to visit all these four nodes before entering into the next level so visit all these nodes because all these nodes are adjacent to B and C, all the nodes of level 
वन सो डी एफ जी सो वी आर विजिटिंग डी एफ जी एंड गो विद नेक्स्ट लेवल सो देर आर नो नो अदर लेवल राइट बिकॉज लेवल टू इज अ लास्ट लेवल सो दिस विल बी द आंसर एंड दिस विल बी इंप्लीमेंटेड बाई यूजिंग द क्यू जस्ट इंसर्ट द नोड इन टू द क्यू एंड देन फर्स्ट इंसर्ट द नोड इन टू द क्यू इफ द क्यू इज एम टी इफ नॉट remove the element or remove the node from the queue and enter into the bfs place it in the bfs and insert all the adjacent nodes of that particular node into the queue and follow the same procedure so first we have inserted a and remove we have removed the a and placed it in the bfs and we are we have to insert the elements of adjacent nodes of a into the queue there are two adjacent nodes b and c so b and c right in the next step we have to remove the element from the queue so where we have to remove the first element from the front end so from from the front end we will remove the uh, node from the queue and we'll insert all the adjacent nodes of that particular node into the at the rear end right because here we are using the queue all the insertions will be done on front end all the deletions will be done from the uh, rear end right so we have to delete the element and we have to place it in the bfs so this is a very simple um, traversal technique bfs that first search right hope you understood this simple technique so if you are having any doubts regarding the, this bfs feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel So thanks for watching keep following thank you very much